What did he buy now? Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Eric KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, bringing you a video to keep you informed on the latest and greatest of toys out here in the ham radio world. What I have in this box is something I wish I had <laughs> a while ago. I wish everybody would have one because it solves a lot of problems. I'm going to open this box and we're going to tear it apart right here on one shot on camera. I have not opened this box yet, but I'm going to show you the magic of what's in this box and why it's so important that this box gets opened one time on camera. Okay. My throat is still sore. I'm still not feeling well. Oh my gosh. What is this? Fort Knox? Put those as. Oh, that's important. Stop! Stop! Right there. Read that. Okay. Continuing on. If I can get this thing out of here, I'm making a desk everywhere. I'm making a mess everywhere on my desk, I mean. <clears throat> so, so far we have a tightly packed box. Put the razor blade away for it. Well, I might need that. Okay, looks like in here I have a couple things. We'll get into that in a minute. HamRadio1.com. Show you more about that in a minute. I want to get this thing open. Gosh, really? Not a lot of talking yet, is there? Of course, wow, oops. That. That is just cool looking. Wow, man. Look at that. Look at that. That is something else. The rugged spot. Okay? But wait, we're not done yet. Because there's, there's magic. We're going to go into this unit here, but there's magic on what you're looking at right here. Because all you have to do is plug it in and it works. The Wi-Fi is in there. The DMR information is in there. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. KJ4, Y Z I on TAC 310 testing. I mean, that answers every question on... How do I set this thing up for uh, DM? Here, 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 here. Uh, call sign is W5 HEX. Copy. Yeah, Terry, very well. Uh, name is Eric, KJ4YZI, yeah, just playing with a uh, hotspot here. And uh, wanted to make sure it was working on TAC 310. Thanks for coming back, 7-3. Now ask yourself this question. Why... <laughs> Seven three KJ four YZI. That's a fellow follower that says I cost him a lot of money. <laughs> so, anyways, now if you're looking for a multi-mode, all-in-one, out-of-the-box hotspot, this is it right here: DMR, C four FM, D Star, P twenty five, NXDN. The ability to cross from DMR to... Oh boy, we got people calling. Uh-oh. Uh, KJ4YZI, uh, hello. <laughs> Every time I get on here, it's a, it's a pile-up. Yeah, maybe we can get together sometime uh, doing HF, uh, HF 
Thank you, Tom. Yeah, I've been a little swamped with emails, but we'll get back to it. Uh, just uh, doing some stuff right now, so um, I'll get back to you in a little while. KJ4YZI. Okay, now that I've started already the buzz on DMR on TAC310, let's show you a couple images of this hotspot. Look at the quality of these cases here. Laser cut, the finest precision cuts here. Really is an awesome solid case that's designed for over the road truckers four by forests i mean you can drop this thing and it's not going to break and what i've noticed is hams like things that look cool like this you know when you have something like this compared to just a jumbo spot which was a decent little unit here but look at the difference look look when somebody sees that and they're gonna be like wow that's really cool you know, that thing's got some flair to it. It's got blinking lights. You know, at night, it really looks cool when it's blinking at night and it's on your desk or in your vehicle. I mean, it's definitely a cool-looking hotspot. And the functionality is the same thing as something like a jumbo spot or all these other hotspots. Like, for instance, this thing will do just the same, if not more, as the nano spot. But it looks way cooler. I think the nano spot you know, looks like an Atari compared to this thing. Um, you know, it does all the modes, all the different things. And the best thing is about this, you can actually use this like a computer. Let's take this, let's, let's uh, disconnect this for a second. You can actually use this like a Raspberry Pi computer, taking the SD card out here and popping in an SD card with an image of something that will work on a Raspberry Pi for, you know, plug in your USB mouse and keyboard here. You can plug in Ethernet or have the Wi-Fi, HDMI out for video, and there you go. You got a little computer, bring to field day, uh, use it on your TV for watching movies, you know, that people watch on Cody and stuff. Load it all in there. It's a dual purpose. But the 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 real big thing about this hotspot is it does all the modes, It just like a lot of these other hotspots. It comes working out of the box with no more questions on how do I get this working. Now, you can... Go in here and just change the settings if you want. But for someone, this is going to appeal for someone that wants an out-of-the-box hotspot ready to go without bullshit with a bunch of soldering and, you know, figuring out which image to get. I mean, I get emails every day. Eric, I got this jumbo spot and it's asking me to format the card. I formatted it. Now what do I do? Well, now you got a problem because you shouldn't have formatted the card. But they didn't understand or they weren't aware. So... I can't answer all these emails. There's a lot of emails coming out with these hotspots. This will answer them all for me, and I wish everybody had one. Boom, open it up, set it up, you're done. Plug it in, you're done. That's it. Now look at a website here for a second. This is his website, hamradio1.com. And if you click over here on custom hotspots, hover over it, you'll see the hotspots here. There's several options. First, I'm going to go to rugged spot because that's what I have. Now I'll show you a couple of the specs here of the board. And... So when I talked to Bobby on the phone, this is what he implemented. Then I saw it here after. Employs a seven-step quality control process. Now, with all the emails that I've got with these last few videos of hotspots, they always usually started with, Eric, I have a defective unit. It doesn't work. And it turned out to be, after I helped him out, it turned out to be their settings. They didn't program it right. So... If you, with this, look at this. I mean, they test the images. They test them on another one. They burn it in. They do a current draw. I mean, they verify everything is working with a seven-step seven process. If this shows up to your house and it doesn't work for you, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you still have to know how to program your radio. But when you provide the information as you buy this, you're going to have to fill out a couple things on an email. What is your Wi-Fi information? Do you have a hotspot uh, in mobile and your vehicle or your vehicle and your house? Give me the information for Wi-Fi, your call sign, the frequency you want of the hotspot, your DMR ID, presto changeo, the thing comes to your house ready to go. And when it comes in and you plug it in, 
and you can't get it working, it's on your radio. You have to program the talk groups that you want to talk on and the frequency of the hotspot into your radio. Now, there are several videos online that show you how to do that. But uh, you're not, you don't have to log into this thing at all unless you want to change something after you've already ordered it and he set it up for you. So, the rugged spot built on a fast Pi Star or a Raspberry Pi 3B motherboard right here. Quad core, 1.2 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, Wi Fi on board, Bluetooth on board. It's got four USB 2 ports, the four pole stereo output right here for uh, uh, output for stereo and composite video, full size HDMI, a CSI camera port for connecting the Raspberry Pi camera. A port for connecting the touch screen because you can hook a next gen display up to this. We'll show you that. Uh, a micro SD port, and of course, it does come with a high quality ultra SDHC card. Now, take it from me from in the past, I've mentioned if you're gonna use a Chinese off brand SD card, you were going to have problems. That's why I lost nine hours of Dayton, Ohio Ham Fest videos that I didn't put on YouTube. Because I used a generic card and it failed on me. I lost nine hours of footage. I was so mad. I've learned my lesson. I will never use a cheap card again. And if you're using a cheap card in one of these, it comes with a good one. But if you're wanting to use several images, you're going to have problems. I can guarantee it. They're durable, elegant, and designed for rugged applications. So you can drop this thing. If, if I had the guts, I'll drop it off my roof with the jumbo spot. But I'm going to guess the jumbo spot's going to break. And this thing's going to survive, so I might not do that. Now, look at this. We'll go to hotspot options. And I wish I would have remembered to do this. Um, laser engraved with your call sign and or alternate text and even a, a image. I wish I could have put my Ham Radio Concepts logo on there, but I didn't think about it. Um, a next-gen display, a dashboard mounting system with the tail harness and the display. So you can have a touch screen on here on your dashboard. Colored acrylic case inserts. Now, I chose yellow. Um, they didn't have orange, but uh, you can do colored heat sinks for different, uh, you know, red, aqua, and gold. Different, uh, you know, options here for coloring, okay? You can get an SMA dummy load cap so uh, you don't have the big antenna sticking out. UV lighting, LED lighting, super bright. So, look, <laughs> look at this. Radioactive uranium glass glow rods. With UV LED lighting, this is radioactive. That is <laughs> that is real uranium. And what kind of glow you would get out of this case is cool. Titrium light source, not familiar with that, but you can get that in there in a borosilicate glass tube. Uh, you know, europium ultra glow phosphorescent, not radioactive. But you can get these things and customize your hotspot how you want them. Make them just as cool as you want. You want to show up to your ham fest and have the coolest uh, hotspot. Or if you want to drive in a vehicle and you make YouTube videos like myself and you want this thing blinking in the background, this may be for you, okay? So totally customizable. And we go down here to Commander Spot. Now here's another one that I think, from my understanding, is going to be redesigned. But I just talked to somebody on TAC310 that had the commander spot, and they love it. That's got the touch screen on it. Um, you know, you can adjust or customize different things for you. And look, again, can be used as a portable computer and a web browser. So if you have the reason to do that, um, instead of having two Raspberry Pis, use this hotspot, man. It'll look just as cool. You know, there's uh, even the little XD4 portable. Now, this looks like uh, a jumbo spot like I have. Just kind of bare bones basic. And all these units do come programmed. They do have the same seven step process and they do do DMR, D Star, Fusion, P25, NXDN. Okay. And read this. We'll cross mode between DMR and Fusion. And with the correct Brandmeister reflector, DMR can bridge to D Star. Yes, it can be done. So every everything can be done in these hotspots. What concerns me is somebody the other day. They asked me on, on the reflector on 30 Charlie. They said, I'm looking to get a hotspot. I think I've nailed it down to the DV4 Mini. That or the DVAP. And I'm thinking, man, that, that thing's like four years old. I, you don't want one of those. I mean, if you're not going to get this next gen, fine. Get a jumbo spot, whatever. But these new hotspots that are coming out, they do all kind, all the modes. Why would you go with a DVAP? 
That's just why would you have a laptop in your car to run a DVAP to get on DSTAR? And then they're like, well, then I got to figure out something for D for DMR. No, you get something that does it all. Okay, and I just chose the rugged spot because I thought it looked pretty cool, um, and you know it it really's got a nice glow to it, uh, and it's pro it's powerful. So the rugged spot definitely is new to my arsenal on my ham shack. The OLED screen looks just like a lot of the ones that you're familiar with on different hotspots. Changes from DMR, D-Star, Fusion, P25, to NXDN, just like any other hotspot. And you can see over here on the right, you got the lights that corresponds to the modes and the actions of the unit. So uh, you have your display there. And again, if that's not uh, enough, you have the ports in here, which I've never done yet, but I'm going to. The ports inside for the... Uh, the, the next gen display which you can mount on this thing and that would add some some really uh, some more flair if you had the touch screen on it a quick look here at the pi star dashboard which is probably just the same as what you've seen on your hotspot or a previous one and it does have the up-to-date latest information and dashboard on here it's only a day old um, but it's running on DMR right now and from what I gather from him that most of his customers are interested in DMR. So that's how he sets it up. And if you're interested in having them all set up, or D-Star and Fusion and P25 and NXDN, and you have that information maybe for an extra fee, they'll do it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Contact them. Say, hey, I want it for D-Star. Uh, and contact them before you order. And I'm pretty sure they can set it up because it's the same, you know, same process. It's just a different mode. But he said most of the people want it set up for DMR, and that's what he does. Now, all the information's in here. I don't have to change anything. It's already set up. And even the wireless, I gave him both my hotspot and my phone and my home Wi-Fi, and he put them in there. So now I can go in the vehicle uh, while I'm mobile, and it should connect right to that hotspot. And when I come home, I turn my phone off and bring it inside of my desk. It should jump on my Wi-Fi uh, router for my home. So everything's set up. It's done. Nothing else to do. So in conclusion, this rugged spot, my new hotspot, it does all the modes that's going to be with me. If you're talking to me on D-Star or DMR, you're talking to me on this. And there's really no need on a video to say, to show anything about, hey, how do I sound? I mean, it's going to sound like a hotspot. So there is no comparison, I don't think, compared to another hotspot with the same hat on a Raspberry Pi. But you're looking at the style, the customizability, and um, the performance of something like this versus a cheaper Chinese kit. Um, you know, a lot of these parts are probably all sourced from the same place, but the case is their own design. They do each individual case by hand, uh, with all the, uh, etching and engraving and whatever you put on it. It's all, you know, if you engrave it and the laser cuts are all theirs. It does also, I failed to mention, come with the adapter card and the antenna and the USB. So everything comes with it. The biggest thing about this hotspot that I could tell you in the video is you can buy it have it customized to look a little bit like how you want it, and it comes ready to go. You don't have to email me and say, Eric, I got this, and I don't know how to set it up. It's done. That's the biggest thing. And anybody can do that, but you pair the customizable asset, uh, assets with the programming that they do, plus the quality assurance process, plus the custom you know cases here in the design and you have yourself a one-of-a-kind looking hotspot thanks for watching i hope to talk to you more on the digital modes seven three more videos on the way from kj4 yzi